my opinion on Aatrox is they created a champion who wasn't that fun to play, then pushed him really hard in the early game, then made him an early game cheese pick, then nerfed his early game, but never made him really that fun to play, and now no one wants to play him. It reminds me of when they reworked Olaf the first time, and then they pushed his Q to a 55% uh, slow, and said, look, he's viable, we gave him a 55% slow, which they promptly had to nerf, and then he sat as shitter for like three years or some shit. I don't understand the point of reworking when the rework is creating a new champion. That's the only thing I don't get. Like, if you're reworking a champ- like, in a Relia-style rework, in my opinion, is about as far as you should go. And even that's a little bit sketchy. But, when you start doing an Aatrox-style rework where you're just actually removing the champion, that feels a little bit disrespectful. I think Werewick was kept mostly intact, to be honest with you. I know people will complain that they removed him, but there is really nothing in the original kit that they could keep. Urgot is an argument. Urgot did change a lot, sure, but I don't know. Urgot's another one of those champions where like the old kit really couldn't be kept, but maybe they should have kept more. Well, that's why I think people that complain about the Galio rework don't quite get it. Galio still kind of plays the same. He just has his ultimate on a normal ability now, instead of that ridiculous fucking dot heal thing. I feel like Urgot is a champion who they... It's like they tried to keep him, got halfway through, and were like, yeah, fuck it. But I mean, even Urgot, I mean, okay, so... Urgot's old ultimate used to be the position changer thing, right? Well, Urgot still can change positions. Now it's just on a normal ability. I mean, the thing I dislike about Aatrox, so is they didn't keep anything about the champion. Argot was a tanky ability user who wanted to get right into their team. Okay, so he's still technically a tanky ability user who wants to get in the middle of their team. He just auto-attacks a bit more. Then you look at Aatrox. He was a drain tank auto-attacker and now he's a combo ability user. Like what? That what? Is ghosting reportable? No. What are you gonna do? Be like, Riot, protect streamers, or I'll be like, streamers? We hate those guys. We despise our content creators that make our game popular for some reason. God damn. Can we please remove Ignite from the game until we nerf damage? That shit's just not even fun. In fact, I'm gonna say it to a chat. The fact that champions can kill you from full health with Ignite is unfun and leads to horrible gameplay, such as one player has Ignite so you don't get to play the game against him. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that's a good one. How about don't buff Ignite when it's been the same fucking summoner? for like eight years and is not in any way underpowered and also damage is looking a little bit too high anyway so maybe you shouldn't be looking at buffing damage when damage is too high yeah i don't understand why riot refuses to at least like acknowledge the ignite buff that's what i don't get like they, they don't even like talk about it it's just like this thing that nobody mentions like remember that time we buffed ignite when damage is already really high let's just never discuss it Let's just never mention it, never discuss it, never bring it up. We're gonna talk about it next season. That's what I fucking hate about Riot. They do that shit every season where they're like, Fuck, we fucked up the entire season. What are we gonna do? Yeah, tell everyone we won't do anything until next season. Next season is when the game will be good. How is that a reasonable counter? Oh, we overbuffed damage so no one needs to bring Ignite. Let's nerf teleport and buff ignite, so now everyone dies in one combo at level 3. That, that, that doesn't exactly fill me with glee. It's like, you broke someone's bones, so you're just gonna punch them until it heals. And eventually it'll heal, but somehow you think the punching them is helping. They nerfed teleport because late game AD carries were using teleport to try to ignore the laning phase. Which is shocking when you think about it. Several top laners have had to eat nerfs because they were using teleport to ignore their laning phase. What does Riot do? Absolutely fucking nothing. They just nerf them and move on with their lives because top lane isn't relevant to them. What happens when 80 carries do it? They immediately nerf it in like two fucking weeks. 
If you actually look at Jax, the first time Jax ate a real nerf was in Season 4 because of Teleport. Because suddenly Jax could ignore his laning phase, and shockingly, this made him quite good. What the fuck does KDA matter, Twitch chat? I'm up on gold. It doesn't matter. KDA doesn't matter. It, if they showed you gold, it would maybe matter a bit more. Yeah, the problem is they show KDA instead of gold, and KDA just doesn't mean anything. Like, that's the thing. KDA doesn't actually mean anything. People don't realize that. No one will ever do less damage because of KDA. No one will ever do more damage because of KDA. Never in the history of mankind has someone died or not died because of their KDA. Because KDA doesn't matter. Twitch is like, how are you up in CF? Because KDA doesn't matter. If they blocked KDA and did not let you look at it, like they literally just did not show you KDA and there was no way to access it, you would get a better understanding of the game.